My name is Tom and I started cycling when I was four. My name is Dirk and I started bicycling when I could walk. Uh, my name is Elina and I started bicycling when I was four or something, maybe five. Well, I'm Sir Felina and well, I started cycling I think with the age of one or two, I think. Uh, my name is Marco and I started cycling since I was three or four, since I can remember basically. Uh, my name is uh, Auke Gerts and I started bicycling uh, when I was uh, five years old or something like that. Uh, my name is Kirsten Koopman and I started bicycling when I was two, I suppose. Uh, my name is Eva and I guess I was three when I started bicycling. My name is David and I started bicycling when I was three or four, I think. Uh, my name is Doreen. Um, I started bicycling. Uh, when I was very young, I don't know when. <laughs> um, my first name is Hans. We are the Baker family because that's our family name. And uh, we started cycling at around about uh, one o'clock this uh, this afternoon. Oh, sorry, I meant um, sorry. What In age, earlier what, days. What, yeah, what age did you start cycling? Well, I think for when I was five years old. My name is Carla, and the age of four on a small bicycle. Because it's cheap. <laughs> because it's easy, it's flexible, and uh, you have always uh, parking space. Because it's so much easier than the public transport, and if you go with car, it's you, you can't park anywhere. So a, a bike is way quicker, and it's a nice way to move across Amsterdam. Well, I don't know if you have looked around here in Amsterdam, but it's quite busy. So it's the most easy and free way to uh, just cycle through the city and get your transport uh, ready. Because it's, uh, it's quicker than the tram and it's free and it's uh, good for the environment. Yeah, it's the most simple way to transport yourself, around, uh, especially in the cities. And uh, I lived in a village and uh, yeah, well, I had to travel uh, yeah, very far distances. And then when you're young and you want to travel those uh, distances, you have to choose the bike to do that. Uh, it's quickest and it's healthy and it's good for environment or better than a car. Because um, it's fast. Uh, it's fast and cheap. I don't know how to say it, but um, I just love it. <laughs> Seldom. I'm a, a, a beautiful weather cyclist. Oh, okay. I only cycle when the weather is fine and the sun is shining, but today we miscalculated because we, we wow. got poured. Okay. For shopping, for uh, yes, for touring around. Touring around. Seven. Seven. Uh, on average, six. Uh, certainly seven. Every day. Um, every day. Six. Well, each day, I guess. Uh, seven? Um, five days a week, I think. Uh, well, only during weekends in summertime and in uh, springtime. Every day. Because I look like crap with the helmet <laughs> on. Uh, because it's too warm. And uh, I would lose. I would lose it. I always lose my uh, my uh, bicycle lights too. So, because I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't fall. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, well, only Germans do that. We think it's quite uh, awkward to, to put a helmet on it. If you just uh, be, uh, if you are a bit handy and if you are not so clumsy, uh, you can just uh, cycle fine without a helmet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a very good question. Yeah, uh, everywhere across the world uh, they wear helmets, but uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not used to wear a helmet when I'm driving a bike, so that's yeah. Ah, uh, I never thought of it. it. Yeah, this just feels normal. Um, because it's a hassle and it messes up my hair, I guess. <laughs> Um, well, it's safe without or safe enough? 
Uh, I don't need it. <laughs> it's very safe. <laughs> okay. It's not obligatory here in the Netherlands. In Germany it is, and I think in all the other surrounding countries, but in, in Holland it's not obligatory. Because it is not... Uh, it's not obligatory. Uh, nee. Yeah, I think it's not the law. No. No. Oh, well, preferably not, but if they really find you for that, I guess it would be... <laughs> I have to, but preferably not, because... <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's very uncomfortable when it's warm, and <laughs> you really don't need one. <laughs> uh, certainly not. No, it's not going to be a law here, I can tell you that. Uh, yeah, the law is law, but yeah, then you have to wear a helmet. Yeah. But uh, I don't think it's very necessary to do it. You're not traveling very fast, so... Yeah. Sure. If it became a law, well, I guess I'd have to. Have but I don't oh. think I would ride my bike as often if it became a law. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes. Yes, of course we would. Yeah. No. <laughs> the answer is no. The yep. answer is no. No, definitely not. Probably not. This is really too far, I think, in Australia. Um, I'm not sure, maybe. Uh, probably not. I probably would, but like... No, there's, I wouldn't be as eager to ride, ride a bike as, it, as I would here. Uh, yeah, of course, why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, no. Uh, you also have to, do, to drive on the other side of the road. You have to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, I doubt it. I don't really like cycling in mountains, so it would depend where in Australia I would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but probably without a helmet, being the ignorant Dutchman. Yes, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why do you choose? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I the I don't think I know anybody who uh, had had injury because of cycling. Normally, when they're drunk, they fall down and they hurt their hands and or their knees, but never their head. Or almost never their head. Of course, yeah. things go wrong, but like. Head injury is not that common at all. Yeah, yeah. And also do it more like conversational, like you're like yeah, you're yeah, really okay, asking okay. me the question. Yeah, okay, okay. And look at look at me. So okay. you're almost looking in the camera. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Okay. So you got the bikes? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name and when did you start cycling? <laughs> I mean it, it it wasn't bad, but okay. like Okay, you ready? Yeah. So, what's your name and when did you start cycling? My name is Sarah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to talk like that. I'm also restoring very old bikes from uh, the, the early 20s, 1920s and that kind of stuff. And you just don't wear a bicycle helmet when you drive those bikes. Cool. It's not in the, in the yeah, how do you call it? That, that oh, you can't pl place it in the scene in, in, in those years. Oh, cool. You're wearing some uh, you're helmets. Store, you're storing old bicycles? Yeah, yes, yes. Like old Gazellas and... Yeah, Gazellas and uh, Phoenix and uh, Union, Batavus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, old that's old like. bikes, yeah. All right, cool. That's it. Okay. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much.